Cerro de Pasco's resources subsidiary H2 Sphere signs a contract with the German Aerospace Center to develop green hydrogen production process using its own tailings and stockpiles. Now, Guy, we had talked about this in a little bit of detail on the previous deep dive video. Can you tell us what is really being brought to the table here? So as I mentioned in previous uh, interview, so there was a major problem with acid water in uh, Cerro de Pasco. That acid water percolates everywhere. Uh, even if you check in that articles in that National Geographic, you see that the young people has high level of the lead in the blood. So we want to find a solution. As long as those stockpile and tailings are in place, it's going to create acid water. I didn't do that. Okay? I'm just trying to uh, find a solution here. So uh, what, what we're thinking here, uh, the reaction with the pyrite, which is contained in those tailing and stockpile, with water and oxygen create iron, sulfates, and free protons of hydrogen, non-metallic. So it's an uncontrolled oxidation of the pyrite. So what we want to do with uh, the DLR, which is in fact Federal Republic of uh, German Research Center active in the field of aeronautics, space and energy in Germany. So we want to control the pyrite oxidation and create iron oxide and sulfuric acid. And then we can do with DLR, we can develop a process to do the electrolysis of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. And this will require a lot less energy than doing uh, the actual process of uh, producing hydrogen, which is doing the electrolysis of H2O. So H2NO, it's a, uh, it's a covalence bond, very, very strong, and it requires a lot of energy. They love each other. Okay? It requires a lot of energy to split the H2 from O, which uh, we will do on a natural reaction. Okay? We will use some green energy to do the electrolysis of the sulfuric acid and produce green hydrogen. What we're going to do, we're going to produce green hydrogen from an ecological disaster. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it can be overstated how much this is a win-win for pretty much everybody involved. You know, this is not only going to be something that cleans up the environment, but you're also getting use out of that resource as well, which is wonderful. So, Guy, congratulations on this release. Guys, of course, we again implore you to ask questions if you have any. But for now, stay tuned for more updates coming soon. Guy, thank you for coming on again. Thank you very much, Michael.